how to read a vernier scale. You'll notice that when this part here is fully closed, the zero on the vernier scale lines up with the zero on the main scale. You will also notice that 10 spaces along the vernier scale lines up with just nine spaces along the main scale. Watch, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If yet along the main scale, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and now we're lined up again. If I were to move the vernier scale one-tenth of a unit that is along the main scale along, then that gap is now one-tenth of a unit, and these two lines line up. If I were to move it two-tenths of the way along, and this one lines up, three-tenths, four-tenths, five-tenths of the way along, in other words, half of the way along, these line up. And I know it's five-tenths because I can count on the vernier scale. One, two, three, four, five. So this is five-tenths of the way between the zero and the one on the main scale. If the main scale is shown centimetres, this is half a centimetre. The main scale is shown millimetres, this is half a millimetre. That's six-tenths of a millimetre, seven-tenths, eight-tenths, nine-tenths of a millimetre. These line up, and so that gap there would be nine-tenths of a unit along. And when we get to ten-tenths, so we're lining up here, we are also lining up the zero again on the next millimetre. And that's it. Pick some arbitrary length and test yourself. You look at this arbitrary length just like that, and you can say, look, we are, the zero has gone past one, two, so it's more than two of the units. So how much per, further past two is it? Look along, these line up. This is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight tenths of the way from two to three. So this is 2.8 of whatever the unit is along the main scale. That's how you read a vernier.